I got an email from a customer who had been using Flatpak for a while now, but had never created an editable PDF before. This tutorial answers the question, how do you create an editable PDF with Flatpak? Let me show you the finished product first. Here's the PDF. You can see that there are some editable fields. I can fill in the name of the school, the name of the child, and whatever I type in this field, is automatically copied over to this field and I can also fill in the date. Okay, let's see how we can create this with Flatpak. I'm going to create a new PowerPoint and create it from a template called Certificate. I'm going to open the Flatpak tab and all the text boxes that I want editable I'm going to say convert to PDF form field and I'm unchecking the multi-line on most of them. The one text box I'm going to make a little bit bigger and I'm going to leave it as multi-line and we'll see how that plays out in a moment. There's one more to go, the date fields I'm converting and unchecking the multi-line. Then I'm going to create the PDF. Let's see how that works. We've got all our PDF form fields and they can be filled in now. The next step is selecting all of the form fields and I'm going to select this option called copy text to form field. Let's see what that does. You can see that all the text has already been filled in the form fields. Very useful for any buyers. They can actually see what they're meant to be filling in in each form field. The multi-line was the top text field and you can see you can press enter and more than one line is there. The next thing I want to show you is the scroll long text option. I'm going to set this on the name of school and you'll see that when I enter a new line it keeps scrolling and the scroll bar is on the right. I can go up and down. Now the only time you want to enable this is when you want someone to fill out a long piece of text and it keeps on going but no one needs to print this. Now the next thing I want to show you is the rich text field option. When you set this it allows the buyer to change the font. They will have to go to view, show, hide, toolbar items and the properties bar or press Ctrl E. Then that property toolbar comes up and you'll see that they can change anything on it. They can underline it. They can change the size. They can change the font. They can strike it through. They can even go to more and say I want this bold or I want to change the color of the text. All that is available once it's set to a rich text field. Now you'll see the other fields don't have this option. If I select this field, I cannot change any of the fonts. So the last thing I want to show you is how to create an auto-fillable field. We'll just copy the date field from down here because it's got the right font size ready. And we'll go back into the flat pack tab, set it to it's already set up for us, but we'll change the name. This is key. It's a name of student, and this field is named exactly the same name of students. Now these two are linked now. Let's see how that plays out. If I whatever I type in this text field here at the top, called Toby John, will automatically be filled in the other text box. If you look under document properties and fonts, you'll see that all the fonts are already embedded into the PDF, meaning that the buyer does need to install them on their own computer to make use of them. I encourage you to try it out yourself. If you've got Flatpak already, give it a go. If you don't, download the preview version from bearwoodlabs.com and you can install it from there. If you've got any questions, always happy to answer them at bjorn at bearwoodlabs.com